welcome back to my youtube channel who is loving my dark look i mean i don't even look like myself i feel like i'm a whole new person <laughs> psych still on me welcome back guys to my youtube channel totally random how's everybody doing vibely vibely i hope if you're new to the channel welcome welcome please don't forget to subscribe before you leave check out all my other videos and guys hit the notification button on my page so that every time a girl posts up some new heat you guys can know all about it oh oh it's not easy to be a baby gay white oh 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 my gosh if i don't gas myself out too real anyways guys as usual i did a poll on my instagram and do people like gossip uh -uh. i put a poll about um if i should do a video on the one time i got into a serious fight at shop right and the other time the other um uh, poll was the time i caught my friend's man cheating and all you i too knows abc i'm a business center people picked that i wanted to know the one time hmm, my friend's man cheated on her so that's what we're gonna talk about um sito this is for you i'm not naming any names please except you people want to open gofundme account for me to get security i will not be naming the names of the people involved i will use any name that comes to my head so um i have this friend her name is sandra not her real name but oh my god i feel so undercover i'm using like pseudonyms and shit <coughs> anyways guys i had this friend her name was sandra and she had started dating this guy you know told us all about it you know he's really cute he's nice he likes to take her out they go for dinner oh well i'm good um so once or twice i hung out with them and naturally yeah, i'm a people person i love people i'm the life of the party when i choose to be and everything but for some reason my spirit did not gel with this guy he just seemed very very sneaky and so i spoke to one of my other friends who had gone out with us it was like a group um dating i'm like ah, babe how far is it only me that is getting very you know not so cool vibes from this guy and she was like no that she thinks he has something to hide ah. I mean, I was like, well, the relationship is still new. Maybe, you know, because we are single, we want to ruin it for her so that she'll be single with us back. Let's just carry our single, miserable selves and be going. So they did that for the first month, second month. I mean, she was over the moon constantly, you know, looking at her phone, you know, texting him. When he texts her, she'll be smiling. You know those things you do when you're in love? I haven't done it in a hot minute, but I still remember what it looked like. Um, So um, I think the first big red flag for me was she started to complain along the line that he always took her to his friend's house. Sir, you are a grown man. Even if it's your parents' house, that's okay. But why are you taking me to your friend's house? And I said, okay, you know what, babe? Ask him why you've never been to his place. And he told her that, oh, his place was under renovation. And that for the meantime, he was bunking in his friend's house. I was like, okay, well, they can't renovate forever. So chill out and, you know, let's see how it goes. Third month in, fourth month in. Ah, babe, how far? What's up? Are you in your man's house yet? No. That's hella suspicious. That's hella suspicious. But I'm like, ah, what kind of relationships are they doing? Are they breaking the whole house down to bid it again? You should go and meet contractors in Lekki. They have skyscrapers up in less than six weeks. What, what are they renovating? She was like, oh, you know, she doesn't want to, you know, stress him out about it. She's really stressed about work. Blah, blah, blah. I think. I said, okay, you know what? My spirit is not jelly with this guy. Give me his Instagram handle. As the FBI that I let me go and do some undercover digging. She said he doesn't have social media. Ah. That he's really, you know, anti-Instagram, anti-Snapchat. He's just focused on his business. I said, ah. Haunty, I think your love has blinded you. It's it's a it's a red flag for me of sort when a man I'm seeing doesn't, you know, have Instagram or have Twitter or have Snapchat. So I get that, you know, you want to be private, but it's not up to the point of not having an account or not knowing how to, you know, use all the social media mediums. So I said, you know what? Let me not cry more than you believed. Eh? It's from club days to enter dance. Before they say I want to post and sign in the guest gallery. So six months into the relationship, um, she starts to call me that he's acting funny. I think this was around Christmas time that he said he was about to travel, you know, for Christmas. I'm like, oh, where is he going to his village? She's like, no, that he's actually going abroad. I'm like, oh, well, not a big deal. A lot of people want to be, you know, outside the country for Christmas, be traffic, get to December, whatnot. She's like, yeah, but that he's being very sketchy. I'm like, sketchy as per. She's like, you know what? I should forget about it. He's the one they tell me I will. 
Uh, so I now asked, like, towards the end of December, ah, babe, what's up? Has your man's, you know, jandered and everything? She's like, yeah, so that he has traveled and, you know, they are just chatting on WhatsApp. Even though every time she, times, she tries to FaceTime him, he says he's busy. In my head, I'm like, I'm already doing some kind of calculations. I'm like, girl, the fact that you're not calculating along this line as well, you must really be in love with this guy. So, I think January now came. You know, December was over. Everybody was, you know, chilling. And she was texting me that, oh, he is not yet back. You know, he decided to extend his stay. She misses him so much. Me and her should hang so she can, you know, feel better. I was like, okay, that actually, I have a wedding in January. Does she want to come with me? She was like, nah, she's not feeling up to it. Blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. Law and be us. A girl got dressed up, you know, looked like a snack. Mm -hmm. Reach the wedding. Who the I see there? My friend, boyfriend. Hello, sir. You are supposed to be in the United States of America. This is Landmark Event Center. How did the two come together to join? At first, I was like, okay, I've hung out with this person two, three times. Maybe because me, my brain, I may remember a face that I know that I know this person, but their name, how I met them, sleep. So at first, I was like, uh uh, that he's not the one. Because he was also sitting with the woman and a newborn baby not a newborn baby but like a new baby so i'm like nah it can't be him i'm now sitting at my table you know doing corner corner eye looking left looking right i say no but this this dj boy am i you know i said okay you know what fbi brought out my phone made a really quick video kept it then when my friend, she was one of the bridesmaids at the wedding, when she came to my table, I'm like, ah, babe, do you know that guy? She's like, oh, yeah, 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 that is the bride's cousin with his wife and their baby. Sorry? I didn't hear you. It's who? <laughs> lol, lola, loles, lol, 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 loles. I got on my phone real quick, sent the video to my girl. I'm like, sorry, babe, is this not your man's? She's like, yeah, but that the angle is a bit. I said, okay, don't worry. I zoom in for you. I made another video, zoomed my Snapchat to like the zoomest you can zoom. Sent it to her. She's like, oh my God. Yes, that's DJ. Where is he? Why isn't he in town? Blah, blah, blah. I said, you know what? We're going to play a very nice game. Art game. You know what? Get ready. You know, do your makeup. The most bangiest, bangiest dress you have. Put that shit on, baby girl. And then I want you to send him a text message just saying, you know, what's up, how is the abroad, blah, blah, blah. Do not this guy message this boy. He was like, oh, everywhere is fine. It's still really cold. He even sent a picture via window. There. And I was looking at him using his phone. Hey, the heat in me was better than the heat in the whole world. The sun that was shining in Lagos, the way it was peppering, uh, it's peppering our skin right now. My skin was peppered like that. I was this close, you guys, this close to getting up and going to him and saying, you bitch ass nigga. But I said, you know what? Every day is for the thief. Today is for the owner of the house. So I told my friend, she got ready. You know. Said, pull up. Pull up, my G. We're about to fuck shit up. So she pulled up and, you know, she came in. He didn't see her. I said, you know what we're going to do now? We're going to glide. We're going to, you know, catwalk. Swing your hips over to that table and make an introduction it's about time you met the main chick she was like no i die. you know this you know what she can't even think straight right now she's so heartbroken but she never had a family i said that one is for your pocket you can't do that when we get home but yeah right here right now we're going to cost a scene so she was like oh she's not you know she just didn't want to go but i'm like you know what i have sat down long enough for this me i like drama i i'm not afraid of it don't bring it to my way but if you do girl i'm gonna serve it to you twice so i walked up to his table and i was like oh hi dj and then you people if somebody can enter ground eh in that moment did you have entered the floor the shock on his face was epic you guys know like when your fit your your heart drops to your stomach he you now you know got up oh hey adal what's up and he was trying to stem you know how you're greeting somebody and using he was like using his body to shield his wife and everything i was like how are you long time no see what's up how's work and i go oh my goodness just such a cute baby how oh, did you, you, you know you did the whole baby play thing i think his whole body was shit like this guy was if he could bring out a gun and shoot me right there and then with no consequences i would be a dead woman 
turn up to her and I'm like, oh, is this your sister? And she goes, I know we get that a lot. I'm starting to look alike, being married and everything. I'm like, oh, you're his wife? Oh my God, that is so cute. Deji is such a beautiful family. I didn't even know you were married. You know when you are just throwing the salt, throwing it. I think at this point, my friend had gathered enough courage because she knew that, okay, I wasn't going to go and do my fighting on them. She now pulled up. Hey! All hell broke loose. Do you know my friend went to his wife and was like, hi, um, I'm the woman your husband has been sleeping with for the last six months. I'm really sorry. I didn't know you existed. She gave the wife the whole story. You people. Wedding, eh, church, eh, church, as they say it in my place, church is over. The wedding was over. I mean, the wife stormed out with the baby. The guy was looking from the wife to the girl, from my friend. He, I think I was devil's advocate at this point. But I mean, sometimes you need to treat people's fuck up. How can you be dating a girl for six months? I cleared my friend on our way home. I like, there's no way you can tell me this man wasn't married. There's no way you could have told me like, you didn't, you know, see some signs and everything. Apparently, what had happened was immediately his wife got about two, three months pregnant. She jammed it. Do you guys get? It? So she wasn't in the country. So it wasn't like, oh, anytime my friend said, oh, she wants to come over at 2 a.m., he would say no because there was no wife in town. But the reason he couldn't take her to his house, apparently, where we had, which was just we heard later, was that his sister in law was living with them. And of course, bringing a woman into the house that wasn't the sister, you know, was going to raise some red flags. But you people, be careful. Lagos is a terrible place. When you meet somebody, ask them, are you in a relationship? Are you married? Is anybody married to you? Is anybody dating you? Do you have any relationship I should know about that you may not even know about? These are the vital questions. And another red flag was the whole him not taking her to his house. His house was under construction for the entire relationship. If you're not building a new house, I don't see why renovations should take that long. Third um, red flag was when he janded, why wasn't he allowing FaceTime calls? Because his family was there. I mean, my friend went home, she cried her eyes out, you know, men are scum movement, tweeted a couple of shit, posted a couple of, you know, memes on her Instagram, like, oh, never, never, blah, blah, blah. now she's the advocate of, you know, if I can't go to your house, if I can't FaceTime you whenever, and, you know, you pick up and we talk via video call, she's very, very careful with relationships, which is what I think a lot of people should be right now, and if you ever need me to do FBI work for you or start a confrontation, email me at Adi Mocha at aqua.com that's my new profession now catching your boyfriend red-handed cheating on you that's it for the show today guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to all um subscribe to my channel share with everybody that you can repost i really appreciate um how everybody has been coming out for sister you guys will find help in the time of your need with that being said we have come to the end of this episode of totally random thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video